Hey guys, so today we're going to clean some bearings. Um, there's a few things that you will need in order to do this. Uh, first, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol because you don't clean it with water. You're going to need a container to put them in. All right, you're going to need a bearing tool to get them off the wheels. You're going to need some kind of bearing oil or cream. All right, a push pin to get the caps off the bearings. Depending on what you skate, if you skate inlines or quads, you're going to need your tool and some paper towels. Now let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the wheels from the skates. Uh, depending on what you skate, it'll depend on what tool you need. I have both, so I will be removing them for my inlines and my quads. Um, now I will say this though. It seems like an easy task, but cleaning the bearings can take a really long time. So make sure you have like plan your day accordingly. So let's get started. Now I have some spacers in these skates, so we want to make sure we keep everything uh, together so we don't lose any piece once we take our skates off. so dirty. All right, that's one skate off. I'm going to do the inlines next and then I will cut to the next video. Don't want to bore you guys removing all my skates. Now let me do all the rest of the skates and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to take the last wheel off the moxies. Don't think I'm going to get to the antics today. Those might be for another day, but as I was taking the wheels off, I realized a few things. One, my wheels are really, really dirty. They are disgusting. Um, I ended up having to do some mud walking over the weekend, so these are just atrocious. And I really haven't cleaned my skate park wheels in a while. so. 
went and grabbed some baby wipes. I'll be rubbing them down and cleaning them out a bit. The other thing was extra container to put all your little pieces in so that they're not all over the place. So yeah, just a few extra little things. So we don't lose anything. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, so once you get all your wheels off, your skates can be placed elsewhere because you're gonna need this working surface. So now I will, actually, I think I'm gonna remove the bearings first and while they're soaking, then clean my wheels. So let's do some of that. So you're gonna need your bearing tool. Um, this one's from Bones. They actually have a really good kit to clean the bearings. I own it, I have no idea where it is, but we're not gonna use a kit because a lot of people don't have it, so no worries. All right, so pull them in, take them out, that easy. There's just a lot of them, so it's time consuming, but pull it, take it out. All right, yeah, some of them are a little harder than others. There we go. All right, so let me get all these off. Um, these, and some of yours, if you're skating in inlines, I don't think quads have them, but these have an extra spacer inside. So you can't use these exactly the way that I was using them to take out the quads, which are really, really easy. For this, you gotta let, get a bit more creative. So what I do is I put my bearing tool down and All right, I'm gonna have to get on the floor for this because this table is just not helping. But yeah, pretty much that's the idea. You have to pop them out. And it's not really a difficult, it just takes a lot of strength and push. So let me get these out and then I'll come back and we'll get started on the rest of the cleaning video. Thanks. All right, so. Let's do a few of these just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you're going to take your tool, you're going to pop it down, and you're going to there you go, and they're out. See, it's like a little tube, but it just doesn't allow the bearing tool in to pull them out. So once you get one side out, then the other side works just like the bearing tool is meant to. It pops it right out. So yeah, that's basically it if you have a pair of these. I don't know if all the brands do. Mines are K2s, so I know they do. But done. Bam. One more. There we go. Let's just do one more, and then I will finish the skates. And we'll get into the cleaning. Boom. See, super easy. Just takes a bit of force. All right, let me get off the floor and get back on the table. Okay, so now that you got all your bearings out of your wheels, what you need to do is you need to remove the little cap that's here. And you're gonna do that with the pushpin. Okay, it's basically putting it in and uh, they come out. There we go. All right, so you're gonna come out, okay? And then your bearings are gonna be exposed. I like to do both sides, that's just me. Um, I know you don't have to. I've heard some people say you can just, you know, do one side, up to you, what your preference is, but I'm gonna do both. So once again, you're just gonna take the little push pin, stick it out on the side, and then pull it up, okay? So the back's gonna look like this. So your front, your back. And then you just have to do that with all the rest of the bearings. 
this is why I say stick to maybe one or two skates at a time. Um, a few years ago, I got a bit ambitious and I decided I was gonna do all my skates or in all my wheel bearings because I own a lot of wheels. And that was a huge, and um, it, it, there was a lot of bearings and it was a really long day for me, but by all means, do about two at a time. You'll be fine. Um, I personally should clean my bearings more often. I don't do it. It's more out of laziness. I get home usually and just kind of take my stuff off, jump in the shower, and just forget about the day. I mean, essentially. But yeah. Bearings, back. Oh, these are so messed up. So. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys do some of that while I do the rest of these. And I will see you guys once I'm done removing all my gaps and we'll be on to the next one. See you in a bit. Okay, so we got all the caps off, my collection of caps now. Um, when I got to my inline bearings, one thing I will say is these are ceramic bearings, so they take a bit more abuse than regular bearings, but I, almost didn't clean them out because they still had a ton of speed cream on them but then I started to notice they also had a bunch of other stuff so I don't know if you can tell with these but let's see they have hair how I don't even know but yeah so there's like hair in the bearing so can you see that Focus, focus, focus. You guys can see it, but it's like, there we go. Okay. So that's what was in my bearing. So this is the kind of stuff that we're really trying to clean out. It's not just, I mean, we roll over so many different things. Um, usually it is sand or dust. Uh, water just destroys your bearings. So whenever you go anywhere and you roll over water, the best thing to do is to get home, take your bearings out and clean them as fast as you can or else they're just gonna rust all over. But, all right, so we got all the caps out. And what we're gonna do now is fill our little container with alcohol. So yeah, move all my stuff out of my way. Take my alcohol. Oh, shoot. I got two more. All right, I'll do these after, but I'm going to fill it up. And quite simply, we are just going to drop bearings in there. Drop, drop. Um, you can almost already start to see all the stuff coming out of these bearings. And you'll see when we're done how different this liquid is going to look. See how nice and clean it is right now? Yeah. It won't be like that when we're done. So, all right, so we're gonna do all of my quad bearings first. Uh, another reason why I try not to do so many at the same time after my one huge bearing experience is because sometimes when you have bearings that look alike and you take all the caps out, you end up with this like pile of caps. Let me see if I can show you guys. And then you have all your bearings and then you're kind of putting them together and sometimes you put the wrong bearings on the wrong caps and, and vice versa. And so I wanna make sure that my ceramic bearing caps go on my ceramic bearings. So these are pretty different that I can 100% tell them apart and I'm not worried about getting them confused, which is great. So I could do these together, but some of my other ones, because of the same brands, you kind of wanna make sure, at least my preference is, you're doing it just one skate at a time or one bearing family at a time. So we're gonna put a bit more alcohol in here. And then we're gonna take the cap and we're gonna close it up. And then we're gonna shake it up, shake it up. And then just like this for a while. Um, For the little container that bone cells is really cool because it's like a little bottle with a metal rod you put your bearings in and then you can just shake it up shake it up but something like this works out too so yeah 
let me get this done and last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually throw all my caps into this at the end because they definitely need some cleaning as well and then once all that shaking is complete we're basically going to dry them off so yeah shake 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 have fun guys shake shake I'll see you in a bit bearings now finishing up with the inline ceramic bearings and let me show you guys what it's gonna look like when you're done because it is not cute all right so I don't know if you can see how dirty the water is very very different to when we started that's all the gunk and stuff that was in your bearings so from above see that yep it's icky so we're basically going to take the bearings out um just make sure there's nothing kind of in them i don't know sometimes you might have like before we had some hair so if we do we just want to take that out with a pin but we're gonna lay our bearings down on some paper towel. Kind of let them drip dry for a little bit. I like to start putting them with the uh, ball bearings facing down first and then I'll flip them around in a bit. One thing you can use here and I completely forgot when I started and I was remembering as I was shaking my bearings is if you have a blow dryer you can take it in like the cold air and just kind of blow it out. Um, this is like a photography air kind of blowy thingy. So I can use that to kind of get some of that water out individually. But a hair dryer will really speed up this whole process. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a bit. And we are going to take some time to wash out the caps and then use some of the baby wipes on the wheels to get them kind of all nicer than what they are right now. So we're just going to dump the caps in here. They are so dirty. Oh my goodness. And then continue our fun shaking. Okay, so I'm finishing up with the caps. Gonna lay them down also on my paper towel. And oh my goodness, this is just so disgusting. So disgusting. Hold on. Let me get all the caps out. What a difference, honestly, this makes. So let me show you what it looks like now. Look at that. That is everything we cleaned out of our bearings and our caps. So yeah, 
This is what your alcohol is gonna look like afterwards. It's just a lot of gunk and dirt and sand and all kinds of other little things that are in here, that were in your bearings. So then what you're gonna do is your wheels. So just gonna take beauty wipe. Kind of just throw them through. Make sure I get the inside too, because all kinds of stuff goes in there. to dry if you can already see the dirt that's coming off these now I will say cleaning quad wheels is just a tad bit easier than inlines um, only because of the way that they're made inlines have this extra part depending on the inlines that you have and so you have a lot more little crevices and holes and stuff but you don't have to worry too much about those because you're not your bearings will go in here so I mean if this is dirty eh, we're not stressing our life away but I do want to make sure that we get some of the stuff that's on our wheels out um, every once in a while you know I have one of my wheels that have it. You actually even get like a little metal piece that sort of lodges itself in the wheels. So the one thing that you kind of don't want to rub off, at least personally, is I number my wheels, my inline wheels. Um, so I want to make sure I keep that. But yeah, everything else you kind of want to wipe off as much as possible. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's just it's a little extra love for your wheels. So I'm gonna get this done while the rest of the stuff dries out a bit, and then we'll come back to put some nice little bearing oil on and close our skates and put them back on. And we're gonna be done. See you in a bit. Once your bearings are dry and your caps are dry, what I like to do is put the caps on the back first. So you're just going to go through all your bearings, putting them on the back and then setting them back onto the paper towel. They pop in really quickly, it's super easy to put them back in. Alright, so now when all your um, backs are in, that's when I'm gonna put my oil in. You really don't have to drench this in oil. Uh, one, maybe two drops, not a lot, and that's about it. And then once you have all your drops on all your bearings, then you're just gonna put your cap back on. So let's do one or two on video for you guys. So we're just gonna go one, two, and maybe spin it a bit. And then just put the cap back on. And you're done. You have officially cleaned your bearings. Uh, the next step is to just put them back on your wheels and get rolling. So that's about it. Now, I will say it's a little easier to kind of line them all up. And then just kind of go drop, 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 drop. Super simple. And then you just kind of cap them in. So let me uh, finish up with the rest of these bearings and then we're almost done. Okay, so I have all of them have been oiled and recapped. So one thing I like to do because you're putting in two drops is just kind of take them and spin them around a bit. Just 
sort of get that oil kind of moving in different parts of it. This will also help you test to see if you have any really, really bad bearings. Sometimes you get to this point and you realize they're not turning. So I actually do this before, just so that I can tell which ones are my worst off bearings. These were all pretty much about the same, so I didn't really worry too much about them, but yeah, it's definitely something you kind of do before you start the process and after. And you'll see the difference. Your bearings will definitely roll better. These are not the best. Okay. So once we do all that, get all that bearing oil moving around, then basically it's just putting them back on your skates and get rolling. So you're just gonna take your skate, which look at the difference. This is so nice and clean. And you're just gonna put them in here and just kind of squish it in. Um, my hands are really, really dirty, so. That is one thing you will get seriously dirty, which actually when you're cleaning out your wheels, you're also cleaning your hands a bit. back it's a push sometimes you do have to use the tool just to sort of get the bearing a little even but that's about it you just want you do want to make sure that it's kind of all flat in the same space because any slight little variation will kind of wobble your wheels but yeah that's about it we are pretty much done so hope you've enjoyed the video so one other thing I want to let you guys know is this little tool, if you guys can see it has these kind of little balls at the end, they actually help you put your bearings back in. So you don't push the button, you just put your bearing on top and just kind of push it in, and voila, super easy, all right? That's a little trick for you guys if you own this tool, which is so easy to use. It in and you're done. All right, I also kind of went ahead and cleaned out some of my little bolts, so I will be putting all this back together and I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so that's the last quad wheel. My moxies are done, the bearings are clean, the wheels have been cleaned. Um, just so you guys know, I started this at around 11 in the morning and it's now past two o'clock. So when I say try not to do all your bearings at the same time, it's because it's actually really time consuming just because you have all the different steps that you have to do. As it is, I haven't finished my inlines, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that because these take a little bit more time because I have to like make sure that the wheels are in the correct space as some of them are, have been eaten up because of my tea stopping. So I'll get that done after the video, but thank you guys for joining me. Uh, my name's Natasha. You can follow me at Natasha Sent Me, and don't forget to follow Space City Rollers. Have a great day. See you guys next time.